This is a lesson to help a reader answer. What does the landlady's description of Holmes reveal about his character? In this lesson, you will learn how aspects of a character are revealed by analyzing incidents in the text. Readers, let's review for just a minute what you already know. You have already read the story titled The Adventure of the Dying Detective by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. You already know that Sherlock Holmes was a man with interesting relationships with others who resides in London and has fallen ill. We know about Holmes as a character just by some of his actions, but we can learn so much more about a character by what others in the story think of him or her. Authors use other characters in the story to interact with the main character as a way of developing him or her. In this case, we will look at how Holmes is further developed through the eyes of the landlady. In this lesson as a reader, you will learn about a character through a description made by another character. To do this, you will highlight the words or phrases describing your character in the text. You will next ask yourself, what does the description I highlighted reveal about my character? Then you will jot your thinking down on a sticky note. As I read my text closely, I'm going to highlight words and phrases the landlady has used to describe Sherlock Holmes' character as I think, what does her description of Holmes reveal about his character? I am keeping in mind her description may not always be about his physical appearance. I am also looking for her description of how he acts or his actions. So the landlady describes Holmes as a remarkable lodger who showed an eccentricity in his life and displayed an incredible untidiness. I know eccentricity means odd and weird and untidy is not clean. So, what does this description reveal about Holmes' character? I'm thinking Mr. Holmes is not the best tenant the landlady has because he was an odd, disgusting tenant who was not clean. As I read more, she states that he had an atmosphere of violence and danger about him and was the worst tenant in London. So those violence and danger make me think Holmes could be a hazard or risk to have living in the landlady's building. I will jot my thoughts from my reading about the landlady's description of Holmes on my sticky note. As I continue to read further into the text, I see more of how the landlady describes Holmes. I see she was in the deepest awe of Holmes. I wonder to myself, what does her description of Holmes reveal about his character? I am thinking she is stating she is in awe of him because she feared him as she described his dangerous and violent atmosphere or presence as we looked at previously. As I read on, I see the landlady is fond of Holmes. That makes me stop and wonder. Why would she be fond of Holmes if he is the worst tenant in London, as we also looked at previously? I keep reading and see she describes that Holmes has remarkable gentleness and courtesy with women. I'm thinking he is warm and kind to women, so I can infer he might be a very interesting character who has dangerous characteristics and kind ones too. As I read further, I see the landlady has said Holmes was in a sad situation. So what does this reveal about my character? I know he has fallen into a difficult situation where I assume Holmes may need help beyond what the landlady can assist with because she has gone to another character to describe Holmes' condition. So, as a result of my close reading of the passages, I have thought about the landlady's description of Holmes to reveal what kind of character he really is. The landlady has described Holmes as a remarkable lodger who shows an eccentricity and who had incredible untidiness. He had an atmosphere of violence and danger about him and was the worst tenant. She also had the deepest awe for Holmes as she also described his remarkable gentleness and courtesy with women. She also described that he was reduced to a sad situation. To this, I have added my thinking 
of the landlady's description. My thinking is that Holmes is revealed to be an odd and disgusting tenant of the landlady who was a hazard or risk to have living in her building. However, Holmes is someone she, the landlady, is fond of because of his kindness and gentleness which he displays with women. Holmes seems to have fallen into that difficult situation or that sad position beyond what the landlady could help him with. So, as a result of my close reading, the landlady's description plus my thinking equal a description of Holmes that can answer what does the landlady's description of Holmes reveal about his character. I can answer with this. Although Holmes was the worst tenant in London who had odd behaviors, he was also admired by another character who witnessed his gentle side. When it was realized he'd fallen into a difficult situation, the landlady went to report his condition to another character, a friend of Holmes. Holmes is definitely an odd, out-of-the-ordinary character who has seen through the eyes of the landlady. While she described him negatively as untidy and eccentric, she still looked deeply into Holmes for the respectful qualities he displayed, such as courtesy and gentleness. So, now I've shown you how to analyze text that helps further reveal a character's description. It's your turn to try this on your own text. So in order to develop a description of a character by closely analyzing particular incidents in a text, you will need to do three things. You will need to highlight words or phrases describing your character. Then you will need to ask yourself, what did the description reveal to me about my character? Then, you will need to jot the thinking on a sticky note. In this lesson, you have learned how aspects of a character are revealed by analyzing incidents in a text.